So let's start with creating a graph or so I can see the graph implementation with JavaScript. For that the first step would be to create an HTML file. So here we will create a folder in data structures and the name of the folder would be graphs. Okay, so I have created a folder. The name of the folder is graph. This is actually a file name. I will delete this file. I will create a folder and the name of the folder is graphs. Now inside graph, I am going to create a new file and the name of the file would be the graph demo. So I am creating a file inside graph as graph demo dot html now here i'll create a doc type so my doc type begins as doc type doc type html and then i'll create an html tag and after that i'll create a head tag so my head tag will have meta care set utf8 and after that I'll have the title tag so my title will be graph implementation in JavaScript so after this I will create a body tag so my body tag will have the h2 tag and the source code associated for the implementation of graph so I'll say h2 graph illustration in javascript now i'll create a script tag so it will be script the tag will be script type text text javascript and the type is text javascript and the source code would be src the type would be graph demo.js so i'll create the associative file in the same folder so i'll create graph demo.js inside graph folder i'll create a file named graph demo.js so here we'll start first with the typical implementation of a graph as we did in various data structures in our previous chapter for arrays for binary trees for dictionaries for hashing tables linked list and so on the similar pattern we'll follow over here for graphs so here i will say function graph graph will take a parameter say v and this would be this dot vertices equals v and then it will say this dot edges equals zero and afterwards i'll say this dot adjacent value equals an empty array and then we will say for a for loop so for variable i equals 0 i less than this dot vertices i plus plus and then i'll create the adjacent loop so this dot i'll create a adjacent node because we are going to create a graphical structure so everything will be for the adjacent nodes or the vertices so here i'll say where adjacent of i will be zero and i will push a value or instead of zero we can even say an empty array so that would be sufficient to define a particular definition after this i'll push the value so i'll say this dot adjacent node of i dot push an empty value so this was my graph representation after that i'll take a function which is for adding a particular edge so that would be this dot add edge equals add edge and after that i will say this dot show graph equals show graph so i given these two values now i'll create a function for adding an edge so that would be function 
add edge. So function add edge will take two parameters v and w. So that is vertices and the value for adding up the vertices. So it will say this dot adjacent v dot push the parameter of w. So w is nothing but the word count or whatever the parameter I am getting for the vertex. And then I will say this dot adjacent w dot push. So it is like redirecting my graph with the help of a directed graph structure. And then I will increment my edges value because my edges will be incremented as and when the vertices value will be incremented. So my add edge functionality is done. After this comes show graph functionalities. For that I will say function show graph and then I will call for a parameter. So it is actually a void function here I will say for variable i equals 0 specifying condition i less than this dot vertices and i plus plus. So it will call for these parameters and then it will print a console that is console dot log i plus the value empty value associated to it. Or I can even represent an arrow value inside it as arrow given over here. And after that I will say for, for variable j equals 0, j less than this dot vertices. And afterwards I will say j plus plus. And after this, I'll say if this dot adjacent value of i and j is not equal to undefined. Well, in this scenario, it will print a value that is console.log this dot adjacent. So every time it is taking the adjacent values, that is i and j with the blank value or a blank string. So this was for show graph. So I've completed my show graph implementation. Now I will create, so this was my if condition. So I've specified for my if condition in this format. Now I'll take a graph example or a demo. So here I will say g equals variable g equals new graph. And it will take 5 nodes and 5 vertices in it. And then it will add an edge. First of all, it will add edge as 0, 1. And then it will add an edge for, say, 0, 2. So it is a kind of a directed graph. Now it will add an edge, d dot add edge for 1, comma 3. And then it will add an edge for say 2 comma 4. So 5 elements each of them connected to each other then I'll call for a function that is d dot show graph. Now let's have the look for each and every function which we have designed over here. So we saw that various functions are involved for building a graph. So once the decision is made that you how to represent a graph in code building a class to represent a graph is straightforward. So this class, whatever we created right now, helps you to track how many edges are represented in a graph as well as the number of the vertices by utilizing an array whose length is equal to the number of vertices in the graph. In the element of an array, the for loop, this is the for loop, okay? So for loop, it actually ends with a specific functionality to store all the adjacent vertices and it initializes an element to an empty string. Now comes the functionality for add edge. When this function is called between two vertices say A and B. So we have the source and destination parameter which is mentioned over there. The function finds the adjacency list for vertex A and vertex B and adds B to the list and then it finds the adjacency list for B and then adds A to it. And after this comes the functionality for show graph. So what does show graph does? 
show graph function displays the graph by showing all the list of vertices or I can say nodes and the vertices that are adjacent to them. So now to print a particular graph, so we have taken a graph over here. So let's see how the graph is printed in my browser. So this is my folder structure, the base and we created a folder for graph and we'll call for graph demo.html. So here you get graph illustration in JavaScript. Now if you check for the console, I can see zero. Now what is the zero actually for? The output shows that a vertex zero has edges of the vertices one and two and vertex one, we always took an arrow for showing the console. So vertex one has the edges of zero and three. Vertex 2 has the edges of say 0 and 4 and vertex 3 has the edges which is like an edges mark for say 1 and 4 and the fourth vertex is the second one. So we can say vertex 4 has a just edge for to vertex 2 and of course there is some redundancy in the display as edge as an edge 2 between 0 and 1 for example is same for edge between 1 and 0. So it is like a redundant type of an edge which we created. For just display purpose, this is a fine. This is like a simple example. But we will need to modify the output when we start exploring the paths in graph. Now moving on to the next chapter was, would be to understand which is called as searching an element in a graph. Determining which vertices can be reached for a, from a specified vertex is a common activity which is performed on graphs. So we might want to know which roads lead from one town to another town, say from a township plan or which flights can take from one airport to another airport. So this is like searching your particular path in a graph. So these operations are performed on graph using a search algorithm. So these are two fundamental searches which we perform on the graph, the depth first search and the breadth first search. So later in this chapter, we will understand like afterwards we'll have a look on what is depth first search and breadth first search which are the two basic searching algorithms in a graph.